Deep in our hearts, I do believe we will overcome someday. You know that little thing in your head that tells you when you're doing something really stupid and you're just like, you kind of cringe a little bit? These people don't have that. I envy them for that. They're singing a civil rights song. We Shall Overcome is from a time when children were sprayed down with fire hoses and dogs were sicked on peaceful marchers in the segregated South. They're singing that because of the election bill I just described. I imagine anybody who lived through Jim Crow in the segregated South would have some words for a clown show like that. Meanwhile, the president rushed to Pennsylvania today to deliver a speech meant to shame anybody pushing to secure our elections. Attorney General Merrick Garland announced that the United States Department of Justice is going to be using its authorities to challenge the onslaught of state laws undermining voting rights in old and new ways. Democrats are pumping a load of nonsense into this election discussion. It's been painful to watch, and it still is. After one of the most controversial elections in recent history, the DOJ is working against any state government trying to make sure their elections are beyond reproach. Voter ID is what Democrats are most outraged over. They are pissed about voter ID, a requirement that is overwhelmingly popular in this country. Fully four in five Americans, 80 percent, support requiring voters to show photo identification in order to cast a ballot. So they're going to use the full weight of the government to circumvent the will of the American people, 80 percent. Again, all they care about is winning elections. Everybody knows this. All of this is about winning elections. They don't care about anything else. As far as the Texas Democrats stunt is concerned, Greg Abbott, the governor, says fleeing Texas Democrats will be arrested when they return to the state. Now we'll see if he actually does this. We'll see how that develops. Could be funny if it happens. Congressman James Tallarico, one of the most painful tweets I read today, we left behind our families, our livelihoods, and our beloved Texas. But our sacrifice is nothing compared to the sacrifices brave Americans have made throughout history to protect the sacred right to vote. <laughs> Texas Democrat Gene Wu tweeted a picture of a Caesar salad with the caption, my first meal as a fugitive. Delicious. I've never really cared for Caesar salad. It must be better with a Coke. The group even got a meeting with Kamala Harris, who also pumped the drama up to about 10,000 and said this. And you are doing this in support and in defense of some of our nation's highest ideals. Defending the right of the American people to vote is as American as apple pie. Just an FYI, Texas has more opportunities for early voting than the home state of the president of the United States. This isn't controversial, but Democrats have learned to make everything, of course, into an existential crisis. They think that's how they're going to win. Listen to how the president from Delaware, which, again, has less early voting than Texas, describes this bill. 17 states have enacted, not just proposed, but enacted 28 new laws to make it harder for Americans to vote. Not to mention, and catch this, nearly four hundred additional bills Republican members of the state legislatures are trying to pass. The 21st century Jim Crow assault is real. It's unrelenting. And we're going to challenge it vigorously. Jim Crow. I'm cringing again. I don't know how people say stuff like this. Politics is just a weird little world. It's, it's kind of like saying, you know, that the January 6th riots were worse than 9-11. This is the rhetoric right now. These are the people <laughs> that want you to trust them. This is the kind of stuff that they say. It's painful. A politician, by the way, with tons of racial baggage in his past, making claims about Jim Crow. How hilarious is that? But of course, he's a Democrat. His racism, as we all know, doesn't count. Biden's speech today was a mere replaying of his greatest hits, though. So what was the point of going all the way to Pennsylvania to make no new announcements? Well, about a week ago, Trump ally and Pennsylvania State Senator Doug Mastriano launched an election audit plan in Pennsylvania. Mastriano joins us here in just a minute to tell us more about his efforts. Biden spoke today in Philadelphia, which is historically one of the most corrupt cities in the country. 
Google Philadelphia history of corruption, and there are some pretty insane stories, and it's still very much alive today. In Philly, Biden bragged about the last election. election. So many election officials across the country made it easier and safer for them to be able to vote in the middle of a pandemic. It was remarkable. As a result, in 2020, more people voted in America than ever, ever in the history of America in the middle of a once-in-a-century pandemic. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.